Hello to all traders and welcome back to another market view brought to you by Orbex. So we've seen that the dollar is just slightly calming down from its month-long uh, dominance, let's say, over a lot of the other pairs such as the euro, the pound and the yen. We're seeing even the VX index really starting to push higher, even though gold has had quite a big lift in the last few sessions as well due to geopolitical tensions. So at the moment, we're just seeing, pulling it all back and just seeing it couple of forex pairs at the moment so look on the euro dollar first of all and as i said this dominance over the euro that we've seen over uh, 400 pips being added uh, to the pair now we're just seeing a slight pullback but you know depending on how you look at the charts this is an eight hour chart for example we are seeing that possibly we are just in a slight consolidation before another leg lower but as you can see here a lot of lower lows in that particular sense so this is what we're really looking for and what we're kind of digesting at the moment let's just pull the chart back slightly even further because I want to just see where we're looking at at the moment we're going back to uh, June where we saw this really bad low well depending if you're a bull or a bear uh, before we saw this big propelment so we're just trading under the 107 handle on this particular pair uh, but since then, as you can see here, wave after wave of upside potential before we had this very heavy resistance and price action really, really got faulted there, roughly just over the 112 area. But since then, as you can see, a very, very strong dominant um, rebound for the dollar. Uh, obviously, we've got the Fed uh, threatening to raise interest rates by 75 or 50 to 75 basis points at the time. Sorry, cutting. 70, 50 to 75 basis points at a time, like it did. I'm getting confused because they were raising it at that uh, amount uh, during the pandemic. So now they're looking to start cutting aggressively. If that does happen, what does this mean for the dollar? What does this mean for gold as well? Because we've seen gold spiraling quite significantly above 2,700. So very, very important there. Just look on dollar yen as well. Just see the trajectory uh, for when, <clears throat> excuse me, price action is keeping on pushing higher and higher. So we're looking at previous levels as well, you know, looking at just above the 155 level. We're just trading above or just below 151. So just a roughly three to 400 pips uh, to be added there. But it's not out of the question. You know, the dollar has been very, very dominant in the last few sessions. So will this dominance continue, especially on the FX pairs? <coughs> Excuse me. Where are we going next as well as we enter the last uh, quarter of the year? You know, we've got the US presidential election coming up in just a couple of weeks. Just seems a bit crazy that things are got going so fast in the political world as well. So that could really start shaking up the dollar. Will we have, you know, another four years of the former president Donald Trump? We know what his um, rhetorics are. We know what he can bring to the Oval Office. Or will we have a new president, but looking to do the same thing as the Democratic way, as uh, Barack Obama and uh, Joe Biden? So you know, it is something to think about if we're looking at the path of the dollar. So just looking at the dollar yen, just getting back to on uh, back, back to focus. And, you know, as I said, 151 is the next big level to crack before we can start seeing and more upside potential. But let me know what you think. What currency pairs are you trading on? Are you trading the presidential election? And where do you think gold will be going in the next two and three months as well? Are we going to be looking at 3,000 before we know it? Um, because obviously the all important 2,700 was cracked last week. But let me know what you think. This video will be posted on our YouTube and Telegram channel. So feel free to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Have a great training day. And until next time, bye for now.